Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to Homeworld! So, time to go to the nether. Okay, just let me quickly get some iron, make a bucket, and then just quickly get some obsidian, and then quickly build a portal, and then it will be time <laughs> to go to the nether. But hopefully it's not gonna be that big of a problem. I mean... Actually, I don't even have to go... I don't really have to dig down. I don't really have to go to a cave. This biome is pretty... Pretty close, and I think it might be a better idea to go yes. and get lava from there. Those... <laughs> those bone blocks yes. are absolutely ridiculous. Like, I think I turned half a stack into... Or maybe half of half a stack into bone meal. And it created like five stacks of bone meal. And I'm not even sure if I will use it all up in the in the next like 10 episodes. Like this is so much bone meal. It's ridiculous. So I made a bunch more carrots. I, I put some potatoes in my power generator actually. Because I want to use as many carrots as possible for just expanding my farm and in the future I will also I will also probably build some bigger farm like not even in the future but sometime soon because this is not a proper farm I just have I just have a bunch of things growing near my little pool of water but I want something a bit I want something a bit better so I'm gonna work on that soon but right now I want to really get some gems and oh my gosh it will be so much better at uh, just the whole farming business if I can get a peridot. I would be happy to get any gem, I mean jaspers will be super amazing. Just having a jasper while I'm exploring a dungeon, it will make things so much easier but peridot, peridot is what I really really want. Okay, so where is the nearest pool of lava? Let's see. Actually, I don't see any right now. But I'm pretty sure I saw one last time I was here. What the heck? Oh yeah, well, there it is. I don't even think it's necessarily something specific for this kind of a biome. I mean, sometimes those lake of sometimes those lakes of lava appear in other biomes as well but yeah that's the one I saw and that's the one I'm gonna get it's kind of weird how water looks purple in here but it's actually not purple at all okay guest you're not gonna be a problem are you no don't don't do it don't do it guest oh my gosh stupid guests man I should have grabbed a bow I really should have. <sighs> oh well. Stay here, yeah. Lapis. Stay here while I get some obsidian. Alright, there we go. Uh, there's probably some more lava underneath. So let's quickly... Oh, actually, no, there isn't. Good. That will make things a lot easier. Also, <laughs> I figured out why auto jump was constantly re-enabling itself. So I already knew that it was because of quark mod, but I didn't know exactly what button was causing it. Well, turns out it was B. The same button that you need to use in order to make a waypoint. So basically every time I was making a waypoint, I was also re-enabling auto jump. So I just disabled it. I put it on a button that I never use and that no other mod is using, which is, I think, uh, subtract. <laughs> and hopefully, yeah, hopefully auto jump is gone for good. Alright, so let's see how much obsidian this is. Three, six, seven, nine. Let's get some more. Okay, just actually gonna, gonna turn all of it into obsidian, don't... Don't do it, Ghast. Don't do it. I don't think there's any lava underneath. Ugh. Okay, we gotta take care of him. We gotta take care of him. Lapis, you and I yes. 
gonna go in and just melee this guy, okay? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be epic. This is actually gonna be super epic. Lapis is carrying me and I am with a sword. Just gonna swing my sword at this ghast and cut him in half. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on, uh, Lapis. We can do it. We can do it. What are you doing, Gas? You think you can just run away from this? You're wrong. You're wrong, Gas. Okay, maybe he's not wrong. What the heck? Can't land a single hit on that guy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. You know what? Plan B. Gonna try to deflect his projectiles. There we go. Ah, okay, well... Dang it, I can't hit him while I'm on Lapis. I think it's because of her, actually. Uh, so... Yeah, plan C. Gonna land and then try to deflect projectiles. Okay. Okay, Ghast. Come on. And... Okay. And now, okay, well, you know what? Plan D. Plan D, gonna just leave and pretend I never met this ghast, okay? I think I might have pushed him far enough, so maybe now he's not gonna shoot at me while I'm in here. Maybe. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's the one. There's now a bunch of zombie pigmen around, so Lapis, stay safe. Okay, okay, ghast is gone. I think. And I think there isn't any lava under this obsidian, so I don't need any more water. Okay, good. It's almost night time though, so I better hurry. I think I'll get like 20 obsidian so that I have enough for portal and also a little bit more for maybe some other things in case I need to do some other things with obsidian so that I don't have to go back all the way. No, don't you, don't you dare. Oh my gosh, this ghast, this ghast, if only I had my bow, if only I had my super powerful enchanted bow, I have no idea why I didn't bring it with me, but okay, okay, 13 obsidian, just a little bit more, oh, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that this is what was happening, are you angry at me now, you son of a gun? All of you, how dare you attack my Lapis. Thankfully, she was just poofed, not cracked. Okay, oh my gosh, now there is a ghost. <laughs> now there is a ghost of a pigman. I'm out of here, okay? I am out of here. I think 14 obsidian is enough, right? I constantly forget how much obsidian you need for a, for a portal. But I am out of here. Now there is this spooky ghost probably following me as well. Oh no. No. Leave me alone, ghost. Dang it. Still follow me. Okay, well. Ah, there is another ghost I need to deal with. That's totally fine. I'm already quite an experienced ghostbuster, okay? I know exactly what I need to do. Okay, that's spooky. Super spooky, we are landing, follow me real quick, gotta get inside, gotta get inside. There's still a bunch of other mobs around, so, oh my gosh. Okay, can't sleep now. Wait, who is shooting at me? What the heck, skeleton? No, no. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, the skeleton. Stay here, Lapis. Okay, okay, no, no. Ah. Okay, 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 just gotta quickly kill this skeleton. Come on, skeleton. Yes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, spooky ghost just missed me. Oh, my gosh, that was close. Okay, okay. Yes, and another hit. No. Too spooky for me. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. And yes, okay, skeleton is dead. Uh... Yes, I can sleep now. Good. Good. Now, just gotta quickly take care of the spooky ghost. Okay, come on, bring it. I'm not afraid of you. That's right. That's right. 
Where is it? Yes! Come on! Just a couple more hits and it's gonna be dead! Again! I, I guess it's already dead, but... <laughs> Double dead. Okay. Okay, let's get outside. And I actually don't think I showed you, but I planted... I think I planted all of the trees I got... Mm, I got in the previous... Well, you know, a few episodes ago. Okay, no, no! Yes, yes, got you, creeper! Okay, okay, come on, ghost. Let's dance. Let's dance, ghost. There you are. No, mm, too fast. Too fast and too spooky. Oh, but not fast enough, and it actually dropped another lucky case. This time it's axes. Interesting. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's see what we get. Oh yeah, I need a key to open this case. Thankfully, I have a bunch. Okay. Let's see. Which one it's gonna be. Ah, uh, it's... Oh, it's actually just tools, I think, and I gotta go... <laughs> Literally the worst thing I could have gotten. There was some amazing things in this case, like freaking, um, well, drills of some kind, I think. And just some normal things like axes. I got a hoe, and on top of that, it's a golden hoe, which is the worst durability ever. You know what, Lapis? You can have yeah. this one. Yeah, good. Oh, she didn't give me the other one back. Lapis? Okay, well, whatever. I didn't need it anyway. Lapis? Just gonna need a few more blocks... ...of dirt. <laughs> yeah, for the corners. Whoops, okay. There we go. One, two, three... ...and same thing. Come on, same thing here. Ah, stupid shield. But it's so, it's, it's so fancy. Look at this shield. Look at it. Looking good. Okay. And. <laughs> ah, great. Great. And now, all I need is flint and steel. I've got a whole bunch of steel. Oh. Uh, do I have any flint? Oh my gosh. Surely I have some flint, right? Somewhere? Come on! Oh my gosh, I don't have any flint! Okay, okay, is there any other way to make this thing? Let's see. Any replacement for flint or any alternative recipe? Yes, I can just craft it using gravel. That's great. Okay, now let's see if I have any gravel. Gravel? I don't have any gravel! Oh my gosh! Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The only reason I don't have it is because I didn't need it before. Now I need it. And I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna get down into my cave. And it's gonna be the first thing I see. Just a bunch of gravel. The first thing I see. All the flint I can dream of. Nope. There is nothing. <laughs> I guess I gotta go deeper. All right, well... Ah, let's go. Let's go deeper. Sure. Back into my cave. In search of gravel. Who would have thought that gravel will be the thing uh, that I really, really need? Okay, well, any gravel in here? Hello? Just need some gravel. I I have a bunch of obsidian. Just, just gotta get some gravel. Okay, I need three. Literally three gravel is all I needed. Good, good. And flint. And flint and steel. Got it. Good, good. Okay. Now it's nether time. Just gotta make sure all of my valuables are safe. Now, I think nether is too dangerous for lapis right now. So Lapis, you're gonna stay here, stay safe, watch over my house, and also Gemstaff gotta stay here. 
I don't need it in there, and if I lose it in there, this is gonna be a disaster. Okay, so also let's get a bunch of berries. Okay, good, good. So, it is time to open the portal into another dimension. That's right. And now it's done. And it's time to go through. Okay, so all I need is glowstone and blaze. I need to find a blaze, I need to kill a blaze. Then I need to find glowstone, break glowstone, and I can get out of there. Okay, so... Hopefully it's gonna be a safe nether. Hopefully I'm gonna just appear in there and it's gonna be totally fine. No lava around, nothing, just normal nether. Okay, I just got an achievement. Welcome to Inferno. Okay, so... There's a bunch of valuable Tinker's Construct ores. So far I don't see any glowstone. Well, actually, yeah, a bunch of glowstone in the distance, but I want to have some nearby, and also blazes. I really hope there's gonna be a bunch of blazes spawning outside of the fortresses. Okay, hmm, so that's pretty close, but uh, maybe something even closer. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, you chill? You all good, guys? Okay, good. Yeah, you know what, that's good enough. <laughs> Didn't bring any blocks with me. Okay, two blocks of cobblestone. And that's more than enough. I think all I need is like one glowstone for one gem base. So that's seven gem bases worth of cobble- uh, worth of glowstone right here. All I need is to find one blaze. One blaze. I see something in the distance. Some kind of a dungeon, I think. And as I said in the previous episode, I, I have seen a bunch of different dungeons in here, and I've seen one dungeon which had like... Oh my gosh, I think it was like 30 spawners of all kinds of different mobs, and it was scary, okay? It was legitimately scary. But this actually looks like just a normal nether fortress. What are the chances? Oh my... Oh my gosh! It's actually a nether fortress. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, let me actually place a bookmark in here. Portal. It's not exactly a portal, but I don't want to run all the way back. And at the same time, I want to know a general direction where I need to go. But oh my gosh. Nether, nether fortress right here. And actually, the reason I was flying around in the creative, and I just want to emphasize, not in this world, but just in my other creative world, I was flying around just to try to figure out how hard it is to find a normal fortress with all kinds of new structures and biomes that Nether has. And I actually didn't find a Nether fortress in my creative world. I was flying around for 15 minutes, I couldn't find it. And here I am! My portal is right outside of this. This is amazing, guys. I'm honestly super excited about it. Like, this is just awesome can i pick up those spikes uh i can i can break them but not pick them up okay lava oh actually you know what uh let's not do that hmm because well i wish i can just block this lava but i oh my gosh oh my gosh no 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 please please stay alive stay alive i i have water but it's just gonna evaporate right it's just gonna evaporate, of course, because it's freaking nether. Please. Please. Okay. <laughs> Welp. GG. Good game. Good game, everyone. Nether is a very dangerous place, Lapis, okay? Don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me, Lapis. You haven't seen the things I've seen. You haven't seen lava that falls from the sky. If you have seen that, you will know that there is nothing I could have done. Well, honestly, I didn't expand... Uh, I didn't expect for lava to expand like this. Oh my gosh, are those spikes? Uh, thorns. Because there was already a block in there. I just destroyed this block, but then I thought, you know what? 
lava is quite deadly as it is. But if there is lava and at the same time there is a chance that maybe I'm gonna fall into this block somehow and just fall down then that will greatly hinder my chances of me getting my items back. So I just placed this block back where it already was and this block, this block was there and it didn't expand lava. But once I placed it again, it did. <laughs> but it's fine. All of my items are safe inside of a gravestone. And there's a skeleton right on top of it. I think it might even be my skeleton. Okay, yes. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, get out of here, skeleton. Burned to death. <laughs> Day 16.5. All right. Okay, so armor is back. Okay, everything is back. Good. Good. Got my glowstone. Uh, wait a second. Hold on a second. What happened... What happened to lava? What? I mean, it was there a second ago. It was there when I was going for the skeleton. It's still on the map. No, not anymore. It was on the map a second ago. What happened to this lava? I guess... Some questions are meant to never be answered. <laughs> I have no idea. If you know what happened to this lava, leave a comment, because I completely missed the part where it just randomly disappears. Maybe its whole purpose was to just kill me once, and that's it. Mission accomplished, thought this block of lava as it disappeared forever. <laughs> okay, I hope those pigs are friendly. Uh, okay, okay. Just you and me. Why didn't they bring my bow again? Oh, right, because I don't know how to play Minecraft. That's why. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, kill the blaze, got blaze rod. I think one is all I need, or is it... I think I need four blaze powder. Four or two. Okay, so let's kill another one. Please don't, don't fly away too far. I got another box from it. Chest plate case. Okay. Gonna open it when I'm back home. Uh, but first, Blaze, come on, get get just a tiny little bit closer, Blaze. Just a tiny little bit closer, and we can talk, and we can dance. Come on, Blaze, okay. He doesn't want to get a little closer. Uh, let's take a look, Jam Base. I need four Blaze powders, so... Oh, okay, shoot. So that's not enough. I think I can crush this blaze powder and it might be enough. I think when you crush it you get two blaze powder and then there's a chance that you will get three more. But it's just a chance and I really want to get out of this nether knowing that I have enough to make one gem base. So please, please, uh, just one blaze, follow me. Dang it, those blazes are actually smarter than they look, okay? <laughs> and they know not to get close to me. They know. Yeah, so there it is. You can pulverize it to get four, but I have a crusher. So with crusher, you get two, and then there's a 40% chance to get three more. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's take this chance, because those blazes, they are not cooperating with me at all. So I'm getting out of here. Mission accomplished. Blaze has been slain. Glowstone has been obtained. Time to go. Gosh, you you even take damage when you destroy those thorns. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Just gotta get through them just like this. That's right. And we are going back into the overworld. Mission accomplished. That's right, Lapis, you heard me right. I got all the blaze powder I need, or at least well, there is a 40% chance that I got all the blaze powder I need. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what I get. Okay, so... I'm, I'm guaranteed to get two, but will I get some additional blaze powder? Three. I need four. Okay, okay. Fair enough. But you know what? That's not gonna be hard. 
I mean, I found the fortress. That's the thing that matters. And I now have a supply of blaze powder. And let's quickly open this chest case. And I think in the next episode, I will inject a gem. I still need to make an incubator, an injector, and I'm gonna do all of that in the next episode. I think I have most of the resources. And I'm gonna also visit another again. Ah, oh, there was something cool on the left. Uh, but this, this is kind of, kind of uh, useless. But in any case, in the next episode, we might inject a gem. And I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video.